Now, Terra Luna Classic utility proposals have come a long way just in the last week or so. I mean, I know you guys can remember back a few days to when minting 500 billion new Terra Luna Classic was proposed, and the community obviously did not like that idea because we are trying to burn Terra Luna Classic right now as opposed to minting new Terra Luna Classic. Now, look. We've got a couple new ideas out there, neither one of them include minting new Terra Luna Classic, which is awesome, but I'm starting to see some, some ripples within the community here, I'm starting to see some friction, and that is exactly what we don't want to have happen. Guys, the best thing that Terra Luna Classic has going for it is the 99% unanimous decisions that we are making. A united community uh, will not will not fall to anything, but a divided community will absolutely fall. So let's discuss some of these proposals and the fact that we are all trying to reach the same goal here. It's just a matter of which direction we take to get there. So if it sounds like something you're interested in... Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade gets $5 in free crypto. Now, if you want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can buy and sell Terra Luna Classic, you've got KuCoin down there, and KuCoin offers rewards for the more active trader. So the more you trade, the more you earn. And then on Binance, you've got international Binance. So if you're an international user, we know that Binance is contributing to the burns. <clears throat> and like we saw this morning, 3 billion Terra Luna Classic wiped out of existence. So if you'd like to contribute to that, you get an, in, you get an international Binance link down there. <clears throat> but guys, let's discuss uh, the basics of some of these proposals here. Because I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> there's a lot involved with these proposals by these developer dudes out there that just want to write and write and write and try to like talk circles around you and, and make things a lot more complicated than they need to be. And I am sure, okay, if any of you guys are out there watching right now and you do have a programming or developing background, I may be oversimplifying things, but we just need the general gist of, of what direction these proposals are going to be taking us and how we're going to rebuild the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. <clears throat> so we've got some proposals out there that are, are pretty straightforward in collateralizing or partially collateralizing a new stablecoin. USTN would be an algorithmically fungible token, basically just meaning that, that the more, you know, the, 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 as the price moves, more Terra Luna Classic will be minted, more Terra Luna Classic will be burned in order to stabilize the price of USTN. Now, in order to not run into the same problems that we had with uh, USTC depegging and spiraling out of control a few months ago, there will be a partial collateralization with Bitcoin collateralizing that USTN. <clears throat> now, this proposal is, is pretty straightforward, but how do we get there? So there are community pools out there right now that are being used to pay validators and staking rewards and so on. And, and apparently they are to the tune of around 350 billion Terra Luna Classic. Now this 350 billion Terra Luna Classic, like I say, is currently paying staking rewards, validators, and so on. But it could be sold and used to buy Bitcoin and then collateralize this USTN. Do we need to get there right away? Does this need to happen tomorrow? Absolutely not. Okay, But the entire theory is, if we use these coins now, and if we get this stable coin or this USTN algorithmically fungible token in existence, it will drive utility. And the fact that we are, are you know, making this happen now, sooner rather than later, would lead to more burns in the short term for Terra Luna Classic bringing utility back to the chain. So that is in a nutshell, one proposal there to create a new 
algorithmically fungible token in, in USTN and collateralize it with community pools of about 350 billion Terra Luna Classic at the moment. Now, another option, pretty interesting one, uh, a lot more detail going into it, are creating these, oh man, I, I forget the exact wording of them, but basically commodity tokens on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain allowing businesses to come in, allowing these, these entrepreneurs to come in, and I guess in a very similar fashion to what Ethereum does with tokens, these businesses would be able to create their own commodity tokens on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. Now, of course, this is going to be, and this is, it does get into a lot of detail here, but what it's going to end up happening is is this commodity token would be pegged not pegged but uh i guess put against the ustc so that transactions taking place there would be ustc versus the commodity token backed up by the terra luna classic blockchain and as more and more uh, companies entrepreneurs developers and so on come to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, build their commodity token out, see the utility that it's bringing to them, it's going to revitalize the Terra Luna Classic network in a way that creates that utility, and yes, you guessed it, brings burns to the table. Now, both of these strategies have a couple goals in common, and they have a couple things in common as well, by bringing utility back to the blockchain. By creating a token, whether it be USTC or creating a coin, USTC in one proposal or a new one, USTN in another proposal, each of which is pegged to that dollar, right? Each of which is used as that stable coin. And the use and utility that that brings essentially burns more and more and more. Terra Luna Classic. Both of them keep the, the hard cap at a 10 billion Terra Luna Classic, I guess, well, hard cap, right? That's the goal, is to reduce the supply of Terra Luna Classic back down to 10 billion coins and, and move forward from there. But here's the thing that I, I want to touch on just briefly, okay? Whether we go in one direction, whether we go in another direction, I'm already starting to see different camps being built, <clears throat> And, and maybe I would have a little bit more, I guess, concern or say if I was a developer and, and really cared which direction we go, but I know both of them lead to the same path. I know both of them lead to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain being rebuilt, revitalized, and reused. Guys, I, I am here to tell you, there are... There's thousands of, of cryptocurrencies, thousands of tokens out there. Literally any of them could be used for anything. What is making the Terra Luna Classic blockchain special right now is that we are a community united. If we start to build factions, okay, if we start to get into this idea of, well, no, 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 I'm going to follow this guy. No, 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 I'm going to follow this guy. You guys are idiots because you guys are idiots. And we start to have this mentality like we are not moving forward together. We all need to take a step back. We all need to just, you know, drop the pride for a second on you might be a better developer, you might have a better idea, and so on. And we don't move forward until we move forward together. So if, if we can't agree on one proposal or another, we round table it, we figure out what works best for everybody, and that is the only way we move forward with Terra Luna Classic. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there are very, very few communities out there in the world or in the crypto space that have the same type of unity that Terra Luna Classic currently has. If we lose that, I think we lose. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, how important do you think that each one of these things are or the unity of the community is, is top? And we need to make sure that we stay with that. Let us know down there. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro 883 everywhere. Getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble. KuCoin and Binance have Terra Luna Classic. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.